Good morning all and welcome to our morning prayer. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come together as a family of God in our Father's presence to offer Him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive His Holy Word and to bring before Him the needs of the world, to ask of His forgiveness of our sins and to seek His grace that through His Son Jesus Christ we may offer ourselves in service. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open our lips, that we may glorify and praise Your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O shout to the Lord in triumph over the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before His face with songs of joy. Know that the Lord, He is God that it is He who has made us and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Come into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His holy name. For the Lord is good, His loving mercy is forever, His faithfulness throughout all generations. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We come to the moment of penitence. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. We pray together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We listen to the word of God and we have our psalm of the day. Psalm 23 and Psalm 24 can be found on page 630 of the Anglican Prayer Book. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore I can lack nothing. He will make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He will refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the face of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup will be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the compass of the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the waters. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not set his soul upon idols, nor sworn his oath to a lie. He shall receive blessing from the Lord, and recompense from the God of his salvation. Of such a kind as this are, those who seek him, those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We now listen to our first reading of the day. The first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 37, reading from verse 12 to 24, taken from the New Revised Standard Version, Anglo Saints. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem, and Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock at Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. He answered, Here I am. So he said to him, Go now, 
see if it is well with your brothers and with the flock, and bring word back to me. So we went, so we sent him from the valley of Hebron. He came to Shechem, and a man found him wandering in the fields. The man asked him, What are you seeking? I am seeking my brothers, he said. Tell me, please, where are they pasturing the flock? The man said, They have gone away, for I have heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. They saw him from a distance, and before he came near to them, they conspired to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes the dreamer, the streamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then, he shall, then we shall say that a wild animal has devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, he delivered him out of the hand, saying, out of their hands, saying, Let us not take his life. Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Throw him into the, to the spit here in the wilderness, but lay no hand on him, that he might rescue him out of their hand and restore him to his father. So when Joseph, Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the long robe with sleeves that he wore, and they took him and threw him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. Here ends the first, sec the first lesson. The Song of Zechariah Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. He promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abram to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine upon those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now have our second reading for the day. The second reading is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, reading from verse 20 to 31, taken from the New Revised Standard Version Anglicized. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since, in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided, through the foolishness of our procl proclamation, to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks desire wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews, and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Here ends the second lesson. The Song of the Church We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded. Your true and only Son, worthy of worship, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, 
You Christ are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. Let us never be put to shame. We now say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, we ask you to give us your blessing, to your church, holiness, to the world, peace, to this nation, justice, and to all people, knowledge of your law. Keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say the collect of today. God of our salvation, your bow in the clouds proclaim your covenant with every living creature. Grant us your spirit, renew us in our baptism, and make us faithful stewards of your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The collect of peace for peace, O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life. To serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies, that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting Father, you have safely brought us to the beginning of another day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger. And enable us this day to do only what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here, as we say every day, uh, you can pause the video, take a moment of silence, and just pray for people in your families, around you, or people that you know of, on our pew leaflet, and everywhere that you feel people that need prayers. Take this moment, pause the video, and just take this moment to reflect on these people and to give them up to God for prayer. Blessing and honor and thanksgiving and praise, more than we can utter, more than we can understand, be to you, O Holy and Glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, from all angels, all people, all creatures, forever and ever. God of all power, we acclaim you. Lord of all grace, we worship you. We are not worthy of you, yet your goodness makes us praise you and give you thanks. We praise you for the life you have given us. 
and for all the blessings we have received at your hand. Above all, we give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the grace and hope which his death and resurrection have brought to us. We ask this of you, our Father, that we may never forget your goodness to us, and that we may show our thankfulness not only in words, but by the service of our lives, both now and in all eternity. Heavenly Father, your Son promised that whenever we pray in his name, you will hear us. Answer our prayers as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us with our morning prayer. We look forward to seeing you again. Please join us as tomorrow. Have a blessed day and may God bless you.